everyone, welcome to another video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm starting out with some Nina Desert Storm cardstock, and I've just cut and scored it to a standard sized card. Now I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Air Event die. I'm going to put this Air Event at the very bottom of the card and put it in place with a little bit of washi tape just because it's temporary, and then I'll run it through my Big Shot machine. That just gives me a really fun kind of window air event look at the very bottom of the card. Now I'm going to do a bunch of stamping with this stamp set from Hero Arts. This is the It's Your Day stamp set. And I'm using the Wet Cement Shadow Ink from Hero Arts as well. So I wanted to have sort of like a background look to all of these sentiments. They all say happy birthday in one way or another. And I thought it'd be really fun to have them kind of puzzle piece together over the entire surface of the front of the card. So I put the first one down and then I started to just kind of place all the other stamps around it, just trying to get an idea of where those sentiment stamps would fit in relation to each other. And then I brought in my stamp press and picked them all up. And so they're all on the stamp press all at the same time. And this allowed me to ink them up all at the same time and also stamp them all at the same time. You'll notice I have a little bit of a gap at the very top of the card. Um, there weren't quite enough sentiments to fill the entire space. So I decided that I would stamp as many as, of them as I could with the first round of stamping. And then I would go back and add in some more stamps. So now you'll see me come in and start putting some of those stamps in again and repeating some of the ones that I stamped below. Picking them up with my stamp press and then I'll do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to ink them up all at the same time and then I'll be stamping them all at once as well. This just makes it so it goes a little bit faster so you're not like uh, stamping each individual stamp, re-inking each individual stamp. It's a little bit quicker. So now I've got some May Arts twine and this section tape from Smash. It's really fun, it has different patterns and different sections. I thought it'd be fun to tear off little pieces and create a banner, a kind of a birthday banner. So I'm taping them over the, over the string, or over the twine, and really carefully getting those edges to line up. I ended up tearing off a bunch of tape pieces all at once so that I could um, attach them to the twine over and over again all at once as well. So I just went through and folded over all the different pieces of tape. And it's sort of like a washi tape in that it's a little bit more of a temporary adhesive. So if you don't get these looped over just perfectly, you definitely can kind of peel them apart and then fold them over once again. It also makes it super easy for moving that uh, string around or that twine around to make sure that they're all placed on there just right. So after I had them on there and kind of spaced them out, I took my scissors and I cut little V-shaped ends on each one to give it more of a banner shape. You could also do just diagonal cuts on this, you know, kind of vary them, vary them a little bit. I did all the same cuts, but you could vary them a little bit. So I placed it on the card just to kind of give myself an idea of how it would be placed. And then I put glue on the back. This is Tombow Mono Multi Glue. It's a great liquid glue. Just put that on the back of the banner. And I considered using foam squares on this banner for a little bit, but then I realized I was going to be uh, adhering another object over the top of them, and I needed them to be flush with the card to make sure everything adhered correctly. So I just glued those on, and then I'm going to snip the ends off so that I don't have any string hanging off the end. And now I'm going to bring in that uh, little piece that I was talking about. It's the Gumball Dome from Smash. And I think it's so funny because it's got these little balls inside and you can shake it up. I thought it'd be a really fun birthday card. So it has adhesive all along the back of it. So I don't even need to add adhesive. I'm just going to stick that right on my card front. There we go. And then you can see when I pick it up how all the little gumballs move around inside. It's really kind of fun. Um, I think it'd be fun to make a similar card like this, um, but you could actually make it on your own as well, like a shaker card. So I punched out a circle using a three quarter inch circle punch just out of some white cardstock. And then I'm just writing happy birthday on there. And I'm gonna include a little tiny heart at the bottom, just a little personal message. Then I put that Tampa Mono Multi Glue on the back and adhered it underneath this little flap that says open on the gumball machine. Super, super cute. 
I think you'd also coat that circle with a little bit of glossy accents to make it look like a gumball machine. I think that'd be really cute too. So I'm just shaking this around so you guys can see all those gumballs moving around inside. And then I'm going to round the bottom corners with the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. I use the half inch rounder. And that finishes the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching.